everyone, today I'm going to be talking about a subject that I know a little bit about because I have had a perm, I've had two perms actually, and yeah, so we're going to jump into it. Um, there's a lot of people like debating on whether they should get a perm or not. Completely, I guess it's just one of those things that every girl goes through, every girl with straight hair goes through. I don't know, if you want straight hair... I mean, if you have curly hair, you want straight hair. If you have straight hair, you want curly hair. I don't know what it is, but that's how it goes. Okay, I, right now, I have a perm. I just straightened my hair today, and you can tell that's kind of, like, bumpy. I don't know. I didn't straighten it very good, I guess. But the perming process, for one, is kind of tough. You go and you sit in the chair for a while. You get your hair washed. It's all wet. And then... They roll all of your hair. That takes forever if you have thick hair like I do. That took probably 45 minutes. And then they squirt the stuff all over your head. Just all over your head. It, sm it smells awful. Well, some people like it. I don't know. But it smells pretty bad to me. And then you wait, you wait. I think it's like 45 minutes that you wait. And then they rinse that out. And then, um, yeah, they rinse that part out. And then you go back and you put a neutralizer on it or something like that. I don't know. But you leave that for five minutes and then you take that and then they rinse that out. And then they take all your roll things out. But then I do it really carefully so that takes a while. And then after that you can't wash it for, like, they say two days but I always wait three days just, just to be safe. But after that you have really curly hair unless you have weird hair that doesn't take a perm I don't even know about that but um I know my hair got really curly and if you have longer hair and you want a perm just know that it's gonna sh it's gonna make your hair shorter a lot shorter I was upset with how short my hair looked after the perm because the curls they're, they're tight at first they are really tight and I mean it looks cute and it looks good at first and then I say a perm lasts three months so you can you think you have, like, you know, you think you are like, oh, I can try this out right now, and then if I don't like it, then it's only three months. No. A perm lasts until it grows out. I mean, the curls fall, but your perm is going to be in there for a while. Okay, I got mine a year ago, over a year ago, and it's still, like, grown out to right here. Your perm's going to be there until it grows out. Okay, another point is... If you have really straight hair, your, like, the bottom of my hair fell, like, it just fell down, like, not fell out, but it fell, the curls fell, and so, like, this part is, like, just wavy, and the top of my head is really curly, so that looked funny, I thought. Yeah. And then, there's a lot of people talking about body waves, and how those are so much cooler than perms or whatever, that just looks like a fallen perm to me, I don't know. But... Perms are also really bad for your hair, and it takes a while for them to grow out, but you do get the curls that you're looking for, and on a good day, your curls look really good, unless you got, unless, I mean, you have to go to someone who knows what they're doing, and go to, like, a salon. Don't let anyone's, like, mom do it for you, or, yeah. Just go to a salon, think really hard about what you, think really hard about this perm, just know all the factors that it's going to take a while to grow out. It's not just three months. It's a while. And that the process is kind of difficult. And then, like, if you do want your straight hair back like I do, then you'd have to straighten your hair, like, almost, you know, not every day, but, like, whenever you want straight hair. But just think about everything you can think about before you get a perm. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps some of you.